Hello, and welcome to Using the CA SysU Component for CICS Transaction Gateway for ZOS. In this video, we will demonstrate all of the CICS Transaction Gateway, or referred to as CTG, commands available within SysView. For more information on how to configure CTG monitoring within CA SysView, see the video titled Configuring CICS Transaction Gateway for ZOS Monitoring in CA SysView. Here is a list of the CTG commands that we will cover. We're going to start at the main menu of SysView. We're going to go to the CICS menu by typing menu CICS on the primary command line. This menu contains a link to the CTG menu. The CTG menu can also be displayed by typing menu CTG on the primary command line. We're going to use the S line command on the menu CTG line to link to the CTG menu. The CTG menu contains a list of all of the CTG commands available. There is also a link to the second CTG menu titled CTG MODIF which contains a list of MVS modify commands that can be issued against CTG instances. We are going to use the S line command once again to navigate to the CTG modify menu. This menu displays available MVS modify commands that can be issued against the CTG instances. It's important to note, in order to use this menu, you must be switched into a Kix Transaction Gateway address space, which is indicated by the ASI field in the information area. We can use an S line command to copy these command strings to the SysView primary command line. Some of these MVS modify commands accept parameters, and your cursor will be put on the command line wherever the parameter must be typed. The XMVS command within SysView is used to execute these modify commands. Let's go back to the CTG menu. We're going to select the CTG list command off of the CTG menu. The CTG list command displays real-time performance information about your active CTG instances running on ZOS. There are lots of statistics to display on this screen, so we provide formats to easily filter what fields are displayed at a time. For example, we can select the server format to display only fields that are pertinent to CICS server connections. The CTG commands support both system and cross-system mode, which means that you can display information about multiple CTG instances running on your connected systems from one instance of SysView. There are several fields on the CTG commands that support both total and interval modes. This means that the values calculated for the fields are calculated either since the CTG has successfully initialized or over the current CTG statistics interval. We can see the current mode in the options field in the information area. This field is clickable and you can toggle between total and interval mode. You can view the online help within SysView for the command to find out which fields support total and interval values. The mon CTG field on the CTG list display shows the current SysView monitoring status within the CTG. The mon CTG field can have the values displayed on the screen. Full CTG monitoring is not available until the mon CTG field has the value initialized.
There are several line commands available off the CTG list display. We can put a question mark in the command line area to view all available line commands. There are line commands available both to navigate to other SysView displays and also to take actions against the CTG instances. The line commands to take actions use the CTG set command. CTG set is a function command available within SysView that allows you to take actions against your CTG instances. You can shut down and immediately shut down the address space, reset the CTG's health value, start and stop IPIC connections, disable and enable request monitoring exits, and also alter the CTG trace level. Next, we're going to use the serve line command to go to the CTG servers display. The CTG servers display displays real-time information about your CICS server connections into the CTG instance. The monctg value for this CTG instance is located in the monctg field in the information area. Remember that this field must be initialized in order to see information about your CTG instance. There is also CTG statistics interval information in the information area, which can be useful when displaying fields in interval mode. Like on CTG list, CTG server supports fields both in total and interval modes. The CTG server command supports three different screens, which will display different fields. By default, the summary screen is displayed, which shows fields that are shared amongst the different CICS server connection types. The different screens can be toggled between by selecting the current screen title in the information area. The second screen is the EXEI screen, which shows information about your EXEI server connections. Finally, there's the IPIC screen, which shows fields specific to IPIC server connections. Line commands are available off of the CTG server display that can both start and stop IPIC connections using the CTG set command. Next, we're going to navigate to the CTG L server display by typing CTG L server on the primary command line. The CTG L server display shows information about logical server connections within your CTG instance. There exists a servers line command on the CTG L server display that will navigate to the CTG server display for the CICS server that is being mapped to by the logical server. Next, we will navigate to the CTG web services display by typing CTG webs v on the primary command line. The CTG web services display shows information about web services defined in your CTG instances. On this display, you can see both real-time performance statistics and configuration information on this display. Next, we are going to navigate to the CTG log display. CTG log displays a log of SMF 111 records that were written to a log stream by a CTG instance. This display can help give a good historical perspective of how your CTG instances have been performing. For more information on how to configure the log stream to be read by the CTG log command, see the video titled Configuring CICS Transaction Gateway for ZOS Monitoring in CA SysView. We can use the select line command to view the records in a more human readable format. Each SMF 111 record is split into sections that contain information about different areas within the CTG. There exists a table of contents at the front of every formatted record that can be used to link to different sections. Here is an example of a gateway daemon section located within an SMF 111 record. 
This section contains both configuration and performance statistics calculated both over the CTG statistics interval and since the CTG has successfully initialized. This information is specific to the CTG instance that wrote the record. Here is a list of CTG commands that we have covered in this video. You should now be able to take full advantage of the CTG monitoring component within CA SysView.